So we just learned how to do an outlet. Now we're gonna learn how to do a switch. Okay, so you got hot wires, they're black, we've already learned that, all right? The way that a lot of guys mark their, okay, so on a switch, let me show you a couple things. Like if you look in this box, I've got all my grounds already twisted together because whenever you do your rough electrical, you do that, okay? And then we leave one tail sticking out. All our whites, we twist those together and we wire nut it. You can see that? Mm -hmm. Um, and because we're bypassing the whites, because on a switch you don't need that. Um, all we're doing is we're switching this power from a power source. This is like hot coming in and hot coming out, right? And then this one goes up to the light. And so whenever you switch, sorry, I'm trying to hold a lot of things here. Uh, if it's off, then these two are disconnected from each other. But when you turn it on, then it connects these two and then gives power up to your light. And then at that point, you've already got your, your whites. So it wouldn't have power unless you switch this last one. So usually I, I mark it by twisting this wire like that. And then you have that look. And I, later on, I know like, oh, that's my, that's my, um, for my power source. So what we're going to do on this is first we're going to start with the ground, right? And so on this one, it's only brass screws. There's no silver screws because you don't need them because I already talked about we're bypassing that. So. We're gonna take this and put it on here. That's your ground. And then we'll find the right pocket with my, my thing in it. Tighten that up. Good and tight again, right? It's important. And then we come to this side, okay? I got too much stuff in my hands. And one side of this, this side, is gonna be, I usually do it to the top. You can do it either way, I guess but I just try to stay consistent because then if later on I have to come back and do something, then I know it's, I know which one it is. So we'll curl that and then that'll go to the top. That doesn't look great. And then we tighten that up. And then here, this is a little bit more complicated. You can twist these together and put a uh, wire nut there and then just have one tail that comes out if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that because I got the lazy jing. Everybody knows. People look at me and they shake their heads and they're like, he's so lazy. I'm like, yeah, that's fair. He's very lazy. Um, so, I got these just a little bit longer. So you don't want this stuff like sticking out here. You don't want hot wires that are gonna touch something else or whatever, right? But you wanna hook both these suckers on there at the same time which can be a little bit challenging. And then you get it on there and look at that, I did it. Yay. So why do you have both of them at the bottom? Um, so we got, that's a good question. We got hot power coming in mm -hmm. and hot power going out, right? That's gonna stay on one screw. Mm -hmm. And when it's off, it's disconnected from this mm -hmm. and this one goes to the light, right? Whatever your, if it's a light or a fan or mm -hmm. whatever in the world it is, that, and then once you connect these two, mm -hmm. then, then this power and this power touch on the inside of the switch and then you get power up to your light. So mm -hmm. hot power in, hot power out. You could have a bunch of them. You could have five of them in there if you want to. It'd be dumb, but you could. And then you put them all on one screw and then whatever goes to your light goes to the other screw. And then if there's more than one light, like here, so this switch goes to this light but like this switch over here mm -hmm. goes to these two lights. So you would come up from here to one light and then from there to another light. That's called daisy chain, right? And so um. that's how that works. And you could have a bunch of them. Like outside we have 10 lights, they're all connected to one switch and that's not a big deal. Anyway, then you just take all this stuff and you jam it back in the box, try to be neat about it. You don't want your bare wire to touch a, touch a hot wire, which sometimes that happens. And so you want to get it in there nice and neat. And then, um, see, we want it to be sitting square too, like it was kind of cockeyed or whatever. By the way, did you hear about the um, baby was born without any eyelids? No. Yeah, they had to use a foreskin to make eyelids. He's gonna be able to see, he's gonna be a little cockeyed. <clears throat> That was not nice. No. That was really a rude joke. All right, so then we're back in there. We're square. You got some room to shift back and forth if you need to, right? Um, and then this goes on there. And then you just tighten these screws. And that's how you wire switch. Cool. Yay. Right. Yay. <laughs>